Today, the world of agriculture is less complete because we have lost Professor Godon Conway, one of our finest agricultural scientists. Godon was a larger than life agricultural scientist who pioneered landmark work in the area of agroecology. His book, on doubly green revolution inspired all of us to think beyond productivity increases, but to produce more food in a sustainable manner, paying greater attention to the environment, biodiversity, and climate issues. He was my boss at the Rockefeller Foundation. In fact, he hired me in 1998 as a senior scientist for Africa and then as associate director for food security. I remember when I walked in New York um, and my wife and I moved to New York with our two kids. We were in a very, very small apartment in Manhattan. And our second kid was very concerned. He asked, Dad, where are the cars? I said, we don't have no cars here in New York. It said, where um, is the garden? I said, that's Central Park. <laughs> and then he looked at his mother, and he said, Mama, are we poor now? <laughs> And we've never been richer, actually. And I told Gordon Conway about this. And then when Gordon Conway sent me to Harare to be the regional representative of the Rockefeller Foundation, he, we invited him to our home for dinner. And of course, in Harare, all the houses have big tennis courts and swimming pools and so on. And Gordon Conway repeated this to our son. He asked him, Shagun, how do you feel now? He said, I feel now like Bill Gates. <laughs> Gordon had so much humor. He was such a great inspiration. He was a man who cared so deeply about the poor, about the environment, about the youth, about diversity, about Africa. He worked tirelessly to build institutions and human capacity in Africa. I had the knowledge, I had the privilege of knowing and working with one of his students uh, from Imperial College, uh, Dr. Debussy Araba, which I'm sure is in the hall today, was also doing an amazing work and is with us today. So as we celebrate his passing uh, with these kind words, uh, let's remember and thank God and for inspiring us, for in helping to shape our vision, for sharing with us his incredible humility, humor, generosity, and kindness. I personally, like you, remember God and, uh, today, and I will always remember him as he walked with down the hall at the Capitol on 2017 when I received the Warford Prize, and he was so really happy. And I felt so proud of him because he was my boss, and I always called him chief. Thank you so much, Gordon, for sharing your incredible life and light with us. We greatly miss you, Gordon. Good night, chief, and thank you very much. Thank you.